Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, it's that time of the year where we're looking for true wireless buds for ourselves or loved ones. But honestly, we've seen a ton of true wireless buds on the channel this year. So here are my best true wireless buds for 2022. Uh, so you can pick out whatever you want, or you can buy something for someone you care about. So I'll start off price-wise, because we've got things in different price ranges, and I'll start off uh, sub $100 and move up. First are the JBL Quantum True Wireless Buds. Now, these are great because they are priced at $74. Now, I found them when I went to a MediaTek uh, conference. These are powered by a MediaTek chip in here. And uh, these actually have two sets of functionality. They can connect directly via Bluetooth to your smartphone, or they can use the wireless dongle and connect to your gaming device or anything uh, that has a USB Type-C like your desktop PC, for instance. So you can actually toggle between your smartphone and your PC. They sound really good. They've got some really nice clean audio, nothing too crazy. Uh, great bass, uh, especially while gaming really resonates well with, with, with this. Uh, overall, just pretty solid, uh, especially at $74. Now moving over to the $150 price mark, uh, I'll start off with the Soundcore 4s. Now the Soundcore 4s come in with a ton of features. Uh, it's got six built-in microphones for an active noise cancellation, which works pretty well, uh, especially while using it on flights. I would say they've done a really good job there. They also have a pretty good ANC, um, and the audio quality is pretty nice and robust, especially for something that comes in at $119. You've got 28 hours of battery life, um, and you, you do have a device that also is sweat resistant, and you have that SoundCloud app to add more functionality to your use case. Solid overall. Now, next up are the Nothing X. Now, they're a new pair of Nothing headphones, but I do like this better because, of course, they have uh, ear tips. Now, I like them because of the design and also the other quality is pretty solid at its price point. Uh, you've got clean audio, nothing too muffled, uh, uh, pretty nice and round. Uh, the bass is not as rich as I would like. The highs don't hit too much. But at $99, you really can't go wrong here with these. Uh, also, they've got a nice app that pairs with them. And uh, of course, use USB Type-C fast charging, as you would expect. Pretty solid at $99. Next up are the Sony Link Buds S. The Link Buds S are probably one of my favorite true wireless buds. I like them because uh, they hit almost every mark for me, except of course the fact that it doesn't have wireless charging. That being said though, priced at $149, this has probably one of the best active noise cancellations on the market, has some really good clean audio, very balanced sound overall, a very rich app that allows you to customize and do as much as you want with active noise cancellation, transparency, 360 audio. Uh, you also have some really good, uh, you have a decent battery life for about uh, 28 hours, uh, roughly, and uh, uh, you also have something that uh, has a very good microphone. I think overall, this is probably the most balanced true wireless buds for its price point or any price point in general. So the Sony Link Buds S come also in three colors, black, white, and this recycled plastic blue. Now moving up to the grand finale, the sub $200 price point, we've got a bunch of uh, True Wireless Buds that are coming into this market space. I'll start off with the Pixel Buds. Pixel Buds come in uh, showcasing what Google has done this year. Uh, they've got really nice, good battery life, I believe about 32 hours or so. You've got, of course, wireless charging, USB Type-C. Uh, you've got a very small, light um, uh, earbuds. Uh, that have some really good sound, great microphone on them. Active noise cancellation is not as rich as some of the others you'll find here, but I think overall people will find this to be a worthwhile pick uh, with this. Also the ability to, of course, to switch and connect between multiple de two devices. Now, next up are the Noble uh, ANC headphones. Now the Noble ANC are really good true wireless buds. You can find them at a price at $189. Now, Noble ANC also has a gaming focus, so there's low latency for your gaming needs. Uh, they're just like the JBL True Wireless Buds, which also are gaming focused as well. You do have the ability, you have some really good ANC, but you also have a very nice, robust sound signature. So 
while you're listening to music, you're gonna get some really clean sounds. The highs and the lows are solid. Uh, the mids don't make sense, so very robust altogether. And when you switch over to your games, you're gonna get a uh, great gaming sound as well. So the Noble uh, Falcon ANC. Then we have the Bear Dynamic Freebeds. Now Freebeds are really nice because of the sound signature, very warm sound. And if you're looking for that, this will hit the mark for you. You've got really good battery life here with the Freebirds as well. Plus, it also comes with a plethora of uh, ear tips, including comply foam, which is nice to see. And uh, in terms of active noise cancellation, it does have that, but not as solid as some of the others. Of course, we do have to mention the Apple AirPods Pro 2. They are the successors to the AirPods Pro, and they bring in some new improvements that are just well worth it. So, as I mentioned, it's priced at $199 now, especially with some of the deals in the holidays. Uh, what you do have is something with probably one of the best transparency modes on the market, really solid active noise cancellation, improved uh, spatial audio with head tracking. Uh, you've also got one of the best microphones on uh, True Wireless Buds. Uh, does have wireless charging and MagSafe as well. Not to be left out are my daily drivers, the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro. Now the Buds 2 Pro come in at roughly around 222 but you can find them under $200 which is why I'm putting them under $200 here. They have great active noise cancellation, probably the second best in the market. Uh, they do have a really solid microphone. Uh, they also have some really good audio and uh, great uh, 360 audio in there or you could call it their own spatial audio. Uh, and they also have game mode with uh, low latency. A nice solid app to go with it and overall probably one of the best you will find in the Android ecosystem, very rich sound, and I think a lot of people will like that. And finally, the Sennheiser Momentum 3. As you would expect, they are Sennheiser headphones and they sound just like Sennheiser headphones. That nice, classically warm sound, rich mixing, where there's a great separation between all your three levels of audio, solid active noise cancellation, a decent microphone, something again priced at $199, definitely worth picking out if you want to. Now I do have one honorable mention, and these are the Sony WF-1000 Mark IVs. These are actually from 2021. Uh, but they are currently priced under $200, and if it's something you want to pick up, I would definitely recommend them. Uh, they do have wireless charging, you have USB Type-C, uh, but you also have earbuds that are slightly larger than your typical ones. Uh, but in terms of audio quality, I probably rank them still probably at the top, and you do have uh, really, 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 really good active noise cancellation. Probably the best on the market still to this day. The microphone is the big letdown in comparison, but again, it's priced at between 174 and 194 right now. So it's a good honorable mention to pack in. All right, guys, that is it. Hopefully you can find a, true, a pair of True Wireless Buds for you or for a loved one this time of the year. If there's anything you want to pick up, use our links down below so you can uh, pick up the True Wireless Buds of your choice. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.